We're now living in times where your moral values and your faith is really, really being tested and going to be tested. But before I get started, if you have Periscope, go to Periscope and subscribe to Fearless J 1111 Talk. That's Fearless J 1111 T A L K. You see the title of this article. Mother 38 is arrested in front of her children and locked in a cell for seven hours after calling a transgender woman a man on Twitter. Now this is out of England and no doubt this will soon or in the near future become a reality in America. We're living in times where your moral values and your faith will be tested. The true test is whether or not you will submit or if you will resist. We speak a lot about the demon crafts, but one thing I give them credit for, they refuse to stop resisting the winning of President Trump. Every day they spend countless hours, day and night, they never sleep trolling and protesting President Trump. So why is it so hard for those that claim to believe in Christ why is it so hard for you to gather up enough strength or energy and resist when we're being forced to accept something that we were always taught was wrong? Things that go against our moral values, our belief system. But many of us are being placed in situations where we're going to have to resist to, to accept it or be punished in some way or another. This is the new America and new Americans because in time past, Americans had a fight in them which made this country or contributed to this country being great and the home of the free and the brave. But in these times, people are just accepting everything that the political leaders and government force upon us. So what happens if you refuse to call a man a woman? Or you refuse to call a woman a man? Will you submit? Now, in the Bible, Christ tells us that many of us will be thrown into prison for Christ's sake. Not so much as for Christ the man, but what he taught. Being thrown in prison for not accepting abortions or not accepting sodomy or transgenderism or homosexuality which the Bible teach is an abomination. So will you submit to these twisted laws of the land or will you stand for righteousness sake? Now according to this article it reads, a mother was arrested in front of her children and locked up for seven hours after referring to a transgender woman as a man online. Three officers detained Kate Scottow at her home before quizzing her at a police station about an argument with an activist on Twitter over so-called dead naming. The 38-year-old from 
Hitchin, Hertfordshire, had her photograph, DNA, and fingerprint taken and remains under investigation. More than two months after her arrest on December 1st, she has had neither her mobile phone or laptop returned, which she says is hampering her studies for a master's in forensic psychology. This is her face right here. It says, writing on online form, Munsnet, Mrs. Scott Tao, who has also been served with a court order that bans her from referring to her accuser as a man, claimed I was arrested in my home by three officers with my autistic 10 year old daughter and breastfeed 20 month old son present. Now that's interesting because this is a woman that's being treated like this because she referred to a man as a man. That's interesting. This goes to show that although this man is more protected than this woman, this places the woman on the bottom of transgenderism. I don't know of too many men that were arrested for disagreeing with a woman. But yet, because this woman disagrees with this man that want to be a woman, He's being favored with the law. So you have an imitation woman that has more rights than a real woman, an authentic woman, a woman that was born as a woman, but you have the copy the imitation woman that's being favored more. And this woman claims that she's got an autistic daughter and a breastfed 20 month old son, which the law don't care because you violated one of their human beings or subhuman beings. She says, I was detained for seven hours in a cell with no sanitary products, which I said I needed before being interviewed later, released under investigation, I was arrested for harassment and malicious communications because I called someone out and misgendered them on Twitter. That was not a misgender. She called it right. Confirming the arrest, Hertfordshire police said, we take all reports of malicious communication seriously. The case is the latest where police have been accused of being heavy handed in dealing with people who go online to debate gender issues. Sitcom writer Graham Lineham was given a verbal harassment warning after West Yorkshire's police given a verbal harassment warning by West Yorkshire's police after transgender activist Stephanie Hayden reported him for being for referring to her by her previous names and pronouns on Twitter. This is the dude right here. This is the transgender person that's demanding respect, that's getting normal people arrested. Now, it's interesting because just about maybe a week or so ago, I was on Facebook and there was a post that one of uh, my Facebook friends had posted. Now, someone that was on her page 
responded to my comment. And this person was, you know, calling me out of my name, disrespecting me. So I, in turn, referred to this female as unintelligent. That's all. It was not even half as bad of what she was saying about me. But when I signed back on the Facebook, Facebook suspended the account for three days for harassment, did not give me the opportunity to refute that claim. Facebook did not look at the whole conversation. Facebook did not look at the fact that this female had first attacked me and some said some pretty downgrading things to me. They only looked at that small bit that this person had claimed I harassed or attacked her. So Facebook suspended the account for three days just because I said she was unintelligent. These are the times that we're living in today. And that's why I say it's not going to be too long before people in America is going to be arrested for as what they refer to as misgendering someone. And see, that's one of the reasons why the demon crafts are working so hard to disarm Americans. They're not trying to disarm Republicans or the people that follow Donald Trump. They're trying to disarm Americans because once Americans are disarmed, you have no way to protect yourself. And that don't matter if you Republican, demon crap, uh, conservative or what have you doesn't matter who you are if you are a taxpayer if you are a pawn on the chessboard this affects you so when you support these demon craps that support gun control you're actually signing signing away your rights to defend yourself and your families and the only ones that's going to be armed would be corrupt law enforcement that's got a history of shooting unarmed citizens see they don't want you to have the opportunity to rise up and defend yourself they want you to be helpless and i would not be surprised if sometime in the future americans will be placed on their knees and set before a firing squad. You're unarmed, no way to protect yourself because they confiscated firearms. They made it illegal for everyday, average, normal citizens to defend themselves. So you're submitting to that. I refuse to submit. And even on Facebook, I wrote when I posted this, this article, and I'm going to put the article in the bottom. You guys could uh, read it for yourself. But when I posted the article on Facebook, I said I will never submit. So I look forward to being arrested sometime in the future because of the fact that I refuse to submit to this nonsense. I'm going to read on. It was complaints by Miss Hayden that led both to the arrest of an injunction against Mrs. Scott Tow. Now keep in mind you got one that's married and one that's not married. The one that's not married is the one that's bringing the arrest and injunction against the married woman that's got a family, that's got a normal family, that's got a husband, she's a wife and she's got children and she's breastfeeding her child. Whereas you have this imitation woman, you have this man that wants to be the woman and that's single that's arresting or having this woman 
or this wife and this mother arrested and thrown into jail. High court papers obtained by the mail on Sunday detail how Mrs. Scottstown is accused of a campaign of targeted harassment against Miss Hayden, allegedly motivated by her status as a gender woman. Now, they've never done this for black people. That's being called nigger every day. They've never done this for black people when even now Prada had just put a coon or what they refer to as a black face on their purse. And Prada is not being held accountable for that. Yes, they may lose business and people may protest. But we don't see the courts coming to the rescue of black Americans and we have a quite violent history here in America. I just recently read an article where the demon craps are trying to get reparations for illegal immigrants. But yet black Americans have been here and we've never received any reparations. You don't see the demon craps fighting for reparations for the children of slaves. We don't even know our true nationality. You have black Americans on YouTube right now wearing Native American costumes or attire. But at one time they used to wear African attire. There's confusion among the so-called black Americans. To this day, they have no idea who they are. In spite of all the information that we have obtained throughout the time, throughout the ages, black Americans still have no idea who they are. They're still referred to as black. They're still, still being discriminated against. They still hate each other because the hate that they have for each other was instilled in them by their slave masters and today's modern society. But yet, we don't hear the demon craps trying to get reparations or fighting for reparations for the so-called black people. But yet, they're defending illegal immigrants and now you have this woman that's being thrown into jail for referring to a man as a man. Something is wrong with that picture. She is also alleged to have used accounts in two names to harass, defame, and publish derogatory and defamatory tweets about Miss Hayden. Now, I remember growing up and we used to rib on each other. We used to call each other out of our names. We used to mock and tease each other and never were we so sensitive that we had to have someone arrested. As a matter of fact, if you did try to get someone in trouble, they tell you we'd have to suck it up. We have to get used to it. It's only a name. So if we attack someone for calling us out of our name, we will be labeled as violent and we will be told that it's just a name. They're only words. Walk away. But yet you have these transgenders that's crying and complaining because they were born a man. Someone referred to them as a, as a man and now they want this person arrested. They now want to get this person fired from their job for calling them what they were born to be in the first place. Does that make sense to you? including referring to her as a male, which he was born as, stating, it says she, but it's a he, was racist, xenophobic, and a crook, and mocking her as a fake lawyer. Miss Scottstown denied harassing or defaming Miss Hayden and said she holds a genuine and reasonable belief that a human cannot 
practically speaking sex change but Deputy Judge Jason Copel QC issued an interim injunction that bans her from posting any personal information about Mrs. Hayden on social media. So now she's banned from posting personal information. They do it all the time on YouTube. They're always doxing people on YouTube. But yet no one has been arrested. Tommy Sotomayor had contacted the authorities and nothing was done. No one was arrested. No one had to pay for the information or his personal information being posted on social media. It says referencing her as a man, because it is a man, or linking her to her former male identity. It says Miss Scottstow last night declined to comment. So this is the world we're living in today. See? So now you have the imitation woman that's being favored over the woman that was born as a woman that's got a husband that's got children that's breastfeeding her child and you have females that are being attacked for breastfeeding their children in public when at one point in time it was the norm but this is the world we're living in so I'm gonna put the article in the bottom you guys feedback tell me what you think subscribe go to my other channels which I list on the bottom until next time I'm fearless